Hello viewers, uh, Assalamu alaikum. Uh, welcome to my YouTube channel, Spark Samuel Vlogs. Uh, today uh, we are uh, going to discuss uh, types of uh, writs, right to constitutional remedies uh, under Article 32. It is for class 11th, uh, subject uh, political science. Book 1, Constitution of India, uh, topic is Types of Rights, Right to Constitutional Remedies under Article 32. So be with me till the end of the lecture. Uh, let's get started. Uh, Rights are a written order from the Supreme Court or High Court that commands constitutional remedies for Indian citizens against the violation of their fundamental rights. Article 32 in the Indian Constitution uh, deals with uh, constitutional remedies that an Indian citizen can seek uh, from the Supreme Court of India and High Court against the violation of his her uh, fundamental rights. Uh, the same article uh, gives the Supreme Court power to issue writs uh, for the enforcement of rights, whereas uh, the High Court has the same power under Article 2026. 20, uh, the five types of writs include writ of hibiscops, mandams, certiorari, quo warranto, and prohibition. Uh, the Supreme Court of India is the defender of the fundamental rights of the citizens of India. Uh, for that, it has original and wide powers. Uh, it issues five kinds of writs for enforcing the fundamental rights of the citizens, as we have discussed earlier in this lecture. Uh, these five types of writs, again, we highlight here. Uh, or the writ of hibus corpus, the writ of mandams, the writ of prohibition, the writ of certiorari, and the writ of quo warranto. Uh, uh, let's discuss all these uh, writs one by one. So we'll begin with uh, hibus corpus. Uh, it's a Latin. Uh, uh, meaning of the word hibus corpus uh, is to have the body off. Uh, this writ is used to enforce the fundamental rights of individual liberty against unlawful detention. Uh, it implies that a person imprisoned uh, or detained by the law uh, can inquire under what authority he, she has been imprisoned uh, or detained. Number second is uh, mandams. Uh, the literal meaning of this writ is we command. Uh, this writ is used by the court uh, to order the public officials. who has failed to perform his duty or refused to do his duty uh, to resume his work uh, simply it is a command issued by the court uh, commanding a person or a public authority uh, to do or forbear to do something uh, in the nature of the public authority. Uh, third one we are going to discuss that is prohibition. The literal meaning of prohibition is to forbid. Uh, a court that is higher in position issues a prohibition uh, writ against a court that is lower in position to prevent the letter uh, uh, from exceeding its jurisdiction or uh, supplying a jurisdiction that it does not possess. Uh, it directs inactivity. <clears throat> Simply, it uh, is an order issued by a higher court 
to stop proceedings in lower court on the ground of overstepping the jurisdiction of the rules uh, of the natural justice. Fourth one is sorcerati. Uh, the literal uh, meaning of the writ of sorcerati is to be certified or to be informed. Uh, this writ is issued by a court higher in authority to a lower court or a tribunal ordering them either to transfer a case pending with them to itself or cause their order in a case. Uh, simply it is a writ uh, which orders uh, the removal of a suit uh, case from an inferior court to the superior court uh, for uh, speedy justice. The fifth and last one is Q Warranto. Uh, the literal meaning of the writ of Q Warranto is by what authority or warrant Supreme Court or High Court issue this writ to prevent illegal uh, usurpation of a public office uh, by a person. Uh, it is an order issued by a court to prevent a person uh, from holding office uh, to which he is not entitled and host him from the office. Uh, Article uh, 32 also empowers Parliament uh, to authorize any other court to issue these writs. Uh, before 1950, uh, only the High Courts of Calcutta uh, Mumbai and Madras, Mumbai now Mumbai, Madras now Chennai, uh, had the power to issue the writs. Article 226 two empowers all the high courts of India uh, to issue, issue the writs. Uh, writs of India are borrowed from English law uh, where they are known as prerogative writs. So, with this, we have concluded uh, today's uh, this video lecture on one of the important fundamental rights, right to constitutional remedies, uh, through which uh, five kinds of rights have been given to Indian citizens. Uh, in next lecture, we'll discuss about a fundamental uh, duties and further uh, the directive principle of state policy uh, will be coming soon if you want to talk with us whatsapp number is visible on screen email id is visible on screen so lastly there is a request please like comment and subscribe to my youtube channel Thanks. Thank you. Allah Hafiz.